Well, I started off doing karate in 1960, and by 1967, I, I, had, uh, I had done well with it, but it started to feel crude to me. It wasn't an interesting challenge anymore, and people were getting hurt, and I, I lost a little respect for the master because I saw exactly where he was coming from. So I started looking around to find something that was more interesting and challenging. And uh, so I went to look at Kudo, and I looked at flower arrangement. I, I tried to find a master of any uh, persuasion. And uh, finally, one day, someone told me about a uh, Chinaman in, in, on Canal Street, and I went to see him. And I took one look at him, and I said, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I want to do. And it just happened to be Taiji. He could have been teaching anything. It was very easy to become a student there. Uh, you just had to sign up and, and pay something like $20 a month, which was a, quite a bargain and uh, you were a student. Uh, and there were, the classes were quite large, and his, uh, his assistants would uh, teach the very beginning classes, but usually he would come in at least once for to, to look at the new move, to deliver the new move, then, and uh, so we would have the pleasure of seeing him do it uh, at least once a class. Being his student was, was like studying everything. We were there to study. I was there. I paid to study Tai Chi. I was studying Tai Chi, but everything he did was a lesson. Uh, we, he'd come into the studio the first, at first every, every time. Uh, some students would bring flowers. He'd take the flowers, and then he'd take the flowers, and he'd have a vase, and he'd put the flower in the vase, and then he'd take, put another one, and he'd say, he'd say Oh, is this, one, is this one right? Is this one good with that one? Does it look right? Is it the right balance? Is the line good? And then he'd, he'd put another one in, and he said, does this work with those? Then he'd take one out, and he'd put something else in, and he would just play with that until it was, well, perfect in one sense. And that was a lesson before we ever did anything else. And everything, every question that was asked of him, whether it was about Tai Chi or not, was a question, an answer in depth. So we were studying everything at the same time. <clears throat> he, he seemed to have no attitude. His ego was very healthy. He, he, he seemed to, to exude love for everybody and tolerance, non-judgment. Well, um, some people came from another school once and uh, one of them sort of attacked uh, Herman Kaus a little bit too hard, and Herman threw him down on the ground. And the ground, it wasn't like cement in the studio, it was hard wood though. And it made a very big noise, and everybody turned around. And Ch Chen Ching went down and he, he, he said to Herman, no, never do that, never hurt anybody, no matter what they do, you, you must have control over that. And he apologized, he made him apologize to, the, to that student, I said, that was pretty good. He was always saying, don't hurt anybody. When he would push us so hard that we were, not hard, but so strongly that we would go up in the air, he would always hold onto our hand and pull us back down again so we wouldn't hit the wall too hard. So no, uh, mine isn't changed from the way he taught it to me, hardly at all. Uh, we all have different personalities and different body structures, so there's always a little bit of difference in, in everyone's form. And then, Maybe someday I'll have an idea or a feeling and I'll go in a different direction slightly, but I'm, I'm still trying to find out how that's all working from his, from his energy messages that I still have in me. His wish was that uh, Tai Chi would spread all over the world. I think that he foresaw a, a health crisis in the world. It wasn't so hard uh, later, but when he, when he was talking about it in the 60s, it was still not that obvious. Right now it's coming to a head. His form is, is not difficult to do physically. It's not, it, it doesn't, to ask people to spend a half hour twice a day is really daunting. Most people don't have the ability to do that. And some of the, the forms, the long forms, are very difficult physically to do. You want to be able to have a form that young people and people that are uh, not entirely healthy can start doing and old people can do. And if you, if you put that out there, and it has all of the health benefits of, of the other forms, which I think he kept, then it'll be something that people can actually do. And whatever form you, you do, you, ha you study, it's the one you do that's going to be giving you the health benefits. And I, th I think it's that. I don't think he was as interested in the martial 
part as he got older because, you know, he wasn't interested in fighting anymore. And the, the, uh, even the classics say the longevity is the, and health is the major um, interest in, in Tai Chi, what you, we want to do with it. So I think that he went more and more into the health part, and he would talk to us about that more than the fighting part. Except after he had a couple of drinks, and then he would start to get more interesting about the fighting part. I hope that Tai Chi gets to be as popular as yoga is now. Yoga has just exploded in popularity. Every magazine is carrying an article about the wonders of yoga for your health, and there are many kinds of yoga. And, and I'm really looking forward to Tai Chi being as popular as that. It's not as easy to do as yoga, and there are not as many kinds of it, but there are, there's enough variety in it now that people can take their choices. And uh, since there is such a health crisis, this whole thing with with curing health problems with medicines is just out of hand. The medicines cost a lot of money. They only cure the symptoms. Um, if we can get people to live healthier to start with and not get the diseases, then it's, it's just much, it's a better style of life. This meeting um, in, in Hanover was very, very pleasurable. So far, it's halfway over. This meeting was very good. Uh, I met more uh, terrific people. Uh, the food's great, and uh, the organization seemed to have been good. There, there were very few confusions on my part. Uh, everybody seemed to be getting what they wanted. Yeah. Food is very good. I'm, having, uh, I'm enjoying it very much in Hanover. Good. Uh, anyway, yeah. thank you very much for the interview. Okay, you're quite welcome. <laughs>